Another example from the many examples of how Ibn Taymiyyah was, this man, his personality, is that um, in one of the conflicts that had happened with some of his opponents is a situation that happened with a famous judge, and that judge's name was Ibn al-Jama'ah, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, rahmatin wasi'ah. This man, Ibn al-Jama'ah, this man, he had a problem with Ibn al-Taymiyyah, so he said, Ibn al-Taymiyyah, he has to go to prison. So he told him, you got to go to prison. So he gave him his prison sentence. Ibn Taymiyyah went to prison. He did his time. When he got out of the prison, there was a situation that happened. And that is, the leader of the Muslims during that time, who was over Ibn Taymiyyah and over that man, Ibn Jama'ah, he was over them, the leader, there was a non-Muslim kafir who was in mandub for the non-Muslims. There was some research, some different things, you know, discussions that they were having with this non-Muslim. So the leader of the Muslims told Ibn Jama'ah, you and Ibn Taymiyyah together, you go and you discuss these issues with this non-Muslim. The Sheikh said, Ibn Taymiyyah didn't say, ah, oh, that man is my opponent. That man put me in a prison. I got issues with that man. He didn't say that. But instead he said, okay, he did it. And why did he do it? Because he wanted to find the maslaha, the benefit of that thing that will help his country, his watan, you know, where he lived, the land of the Muslims, as well as the Muslims. So the Sheikh said, this is the thinking and the mentality of this man. What is going to benefit, not his personality, his personal benefit, but what's going to benefit Islam, and what's going to give the bigger benefit to the society. 